day, big cliche. G'day, folks, and welcome to Carrot Top's Let's Play Survival. Yay! This is a Let's Play that incorporates the new snapshot, Snapshot, um, which is a lead into the 1.7 update, which we're all excited about. Uh, now, what I was going to do was find an appropriate place to start this off, but this is where I spawned. Uh, the seed will be included in the description. And bam! Look at that! birch forest so I know exactly where my house is going to be one thing I did want to incorporate in this let's play is the achievements um, I'm gonna be a bit of an achievement hunter in this one it won't be the main focus but uh, it will be noted so first things first BAM taking inventory first achievement has been got Woohoo! so I'm gonna start my little place over here birch forest in front of me, a little bit of water I can start my farming and that is an extreme hills biome over there as well so I can get some spruce wood if I want to darken it up. Sun is arising. So let's start shall we? Clear some of this beautiful birch, get myself a crafting bench because I know there's an achievement in that. There we go, achievement number two. Got some wood, don't mind a little bit of wood every now and then. Bit of a pun. But we'll start off with some of the uh, wooden tools, gaining the achievements, and then we'll go on from there. After I do do the tools, I will be taking a bit of a pause, folks. Hello, chickens. There's chicos. Chicos everywhere. Um, so, yes, first things first. We'll get the uh, crafting bench, benchmarking achievement. Down you go. And let's get some tools on the go, shall we? Yes, chicken, I understand. I understand completely. Three of them and one of them gets me one of them and one of them. Look at that. Time to mine. Stick that one there. Get that one in there, because that's where I like it. Here comes another achievement. And woohoo! Lovely, lovely jubbly. That one does nothing. Oh, it does. Oh, oh, look at that. Time to strike. Nice. So what's that? Four? Five? How many? How many was that? How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, baby. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Uh, so let's move on. I will clear a bit of an area for a home and I will take a bit of a break and come back at you, folks. Yay! As you can see, folks, we've got the sun coming down. Sun coming down. The sun going down at the moment. So it's a bit of a, a semi-frantic little effort. To at least get a roof on here, hopefully I've got enough wood, which I don't think I have. Uh, but Oh, hello Chico! I've got a Chico joining me in the house. That's so cute. Uh, lucky I am right here with the kind of wood that I want. Still using the wooden tools because I did want to show you guys the next achievement. There we go. That should almost cover it for now. Give me this. So I'm not going to waste another four. Boom. There we go. As long as I have my walls up for the moment, not really too concerned about spiders. Oh, except my mouse does that. Just randomly decides to scroll through my items whenever it feels like it. Boom, boom. Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Even if I get every second piece of the roof installed here until I do the rest, then the spiders can't come and get me. And then I'll start doing some other bits and pieces. As you can also see with my wooden tools here, they have worn down a touch. I did pop over to the extreme hills to get a couple of pieces of coal that I spotted. Um, just jutting out of the side there. So, whoopsie daisy. So I could get some tools going. Boom, boom. Okay, I'm pretty well safe now. Let's get this crafting bench out. I am going to have a door at the east and west positioning. So that can go there for now until I know where east and west is. And let's see some more of our achievements, shall we? Ta-da! Upgrade! Yay! So these ones will be the first of my um, furnace fuel. Uh, dur -dur -dur. Do a bit of that, and a little bit of that. No, I'm going to need that. I think it just takes one 
tool to be upgraded from wood to stone to get that upgrading achievement. Lovely. Get myself a furnace. At least the one. Hello, Chico. And look at that hot topic. Bam! Straight in. He's really asking for it. He, he wasn't invited in. Any chicken lovers out there, personally, I think they're spies. And I'm getting hungry. So at least one of them for that. Actually, I'll put... No, I won't. I will just leave one in there for the chicken. And let's get me some torches. Beauteous. Fantastic, folks. Well, I'm going to leave it there for the night. Just make sure I'm protected and well fed. And we may start doing a bit of mining in the morning. Mining in the morning. I might even dig out a entrance. I usually dig out a little stairwell straight down. I'm not going to go that way. That way you can't see it right now, but uh, uh, that way is Extreme Hills. That way is also Extreme Hills, so I may go this way. Uh, the only reason I say this is I have no interest in getting emeralds just yet. And I also have no interest in hitting silverfish, which I haven't been told any different. But for the moment, I still believe that silverfish are found in the two places, being the strongholds and also in Extreme Hills Biome Stone at a certain Y level. So let's get me some foods. Have a, have a, a nom nom nom. And I will see you in the morning. Now, one of my favourite things, folks, is to generally start my house off in either a plains or a desert biome to get me close to an NPC village. But not only are NPC villages now... Woohoo, monster hunter! Uh, they're not only now spawning in those two biomes, but also in the new savannah biome, which is fantastic, and I want some more chicken. Thank, thank you. But it's more likely that zombies will drop the carrots and potatoes, which is the main point as to why I like being close to an NPC village. So I'm not going to be shy when it comes to walloping some zombies. And hopefully I might get a nice little drop. So we'll see how far if I uh, cut some bits out here. If I meet up with you later. I'm just going to continue to kill some zombies. I'm going to have some nice little drops when I'm safe to go outside. Absolutely no protection from skellies right now, but I can deal with that. Sun's coming up. And it's time to go collecting. Really? You know what happens to uninvited guests? Awaiting their fate. Okay. So let's have a look around. Look at this. Not too special, but not too shabby. Get some eggs. Some eggs are good. And let's go and have a look. It looks like I've got a plains biome over this way. Um, if this is the case, I may be close to some horse spawn spots. I can definitely tell my farm's going to reach out here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Birch wood everywhere. Love it. So let's see if I can get my hands on some more seeds. What have we got over here? Just water. Oh, lovely, lovely. I do think I've said it before, and I will say it again, that one of the most underrated crops in the whole of Minecraft is sugarcane. Uh, not only for crafting cookies and pumpkin pie, but for your books as well. I mean, enchanting and... or enchanting books themselves. Not just that, though, the... 
bookshelves, creating the bookshelves around your enchanting table. Beefy it up a bit. I can see that I'm definitely going to need to find a wolfie soon. I've got plenty of wolfie food. And there is three sheep there, so shall I? It won't leave a breeding pair, but honestly. How many did that get me? Boop. Just the one? I'd rather leave a breeding pair, so it might be lucky if I get a double job. I'll go back to it. Don't worry, I saw it. There we go. Look at the poppies. Poppies will make you sleep. Now, just in case, I don't actually know. Because I might try and do, at least for the most part, I'll try and do this without looking at what the achievements are. But we'll see. No. Bubkiss. Bubkiss from the bed. That's all right. No huge dramas there. Let's put that there. Then we can say goodbye to night time. Let's see if we need to get rid of some more of our tools. Not quite. Not quite burning down. So I'll continue collecting some wood just out here. Just make my front yard a little bit clearer. I might plant some birch trees in a lovely jewel row that will adorn my garden path. Hopefully I can find some mossy cobble somewhere. Use just regular cobble for now, I suppose. But we'll replace it when I find my favourite mossy cobble. Lovely. Like the double door. Eventually, this looks like a decent sized little house. Or a little cabin. A little cabin in the woods. But this is going to be a entranceway, I'm thinking, to a grander house. Something a little bit more stately. More to what I am accustomed. I'll put... There we go. Put that in there. I'll make myself a... Oh, need one more. just to hold some bits and pieces for now.